Well, there's the fuselage, guys. Turned out pretty cool, I guess. Had a lot of fun. It's, uh, boy, it sure is fun giving life to a new airplane. Uh, most of this was done 1 o'clock in the morning. You know, I got three kids and a wife, and, you know, you got to spend time with your family. So these kind of projects are something you do when you just when you have time. And for me, that has to be very late at night. Uh, it happens to be about 5 o'clock now. My wife took the kids uh, shopping for clothes for school. So I get to sneak down here and maybe get an hour in. But, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. You know, some of this stuff sometimes seems a little complicated. If you're a first-time builder, you look at this and it's, it's a little stressful, you know. Uh, don't let it be. The, the, the most important thing is to have a good time. If you're not enjoying yourself, you, you definitely don't want to be doing this. But um, take it one piece at a time. Don't worry about the rest of the airplane. Don't think about the wings. Don't think about nothing. If your job is to just put these intercostals in behind the seat, don't even think of the rest of the fuselage. Just, just focus on this and have fun. If one piece takes you an hour, let it take an hour. By the time you're done with this fuselage, you'll be able to cope one of those joints and literally, I don't know, about a minute. You know, you just get, you kind of get the knack of it. Things take time. And a project like this is a great deal of fun. This is, this is, I tell you, I've never done a, a fuselage with three long rounds. And, and I have to tell you, this, this is exciting. This is, this is cool. Really a, really a neat design. That, that Leonard Milholland, he's a, he's a hell of a nice guy. I talked to him once at Oshkosh and, boy, I was sure impressed. You know, you can tell that guy, he, he's all about flying. He really loves Loves what he does. And that kind of thing is important. And the result is a great little airplane.